Hello everybody, and uh, this is Faster Than Light, and I'm going to do a very quick review, which will probably be about 10 minutes, so uh, let's get going. Alright, so the game's made by Subset Games, uh, it was released I think like last month, not sure about that, but yep, it was released last month or something. Okay, so let's go through options, we got continue new game, so it's a uh, pretty standard, okay. Tutorial, I've uh, been through the tutorial, it's really good. Uh, after you finish the tutorial, you can pretty much jump straight into the game and you're going to do pretty well after that. Uh, you're not going to be like not knowing what to do or like what the controllers do and all of this. So the tutorial is very good. Uh, stats, so we've got different stats, uh, shows all your achievements, um, which I've done none of because I suck. Uh, your ships, how good you've done on each individual ship and your scores, your top scores on each ship that you've been playing. Okay, uh, the options. Now, it's a sort of um, old school style game, 8-bit uh, sort of game or whatever. Um, and so you're not gonna get a lot of options, but uh, has got a fair amount for an indie game uh, of this genre. Um, you got full screen, didn't work for me because I don't know, it just didn't work. Uh, vertical sync. Yeah, frame rate limit, which is actually quite a nice option to have. Um, uh, hotkeys, I guess. I don't know. Uh, dynamic backgrounds, which are something to do with in-game. Um, and yep, yeah, uh, show beacon paths or whatever. Like some of these, I just pointless. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to have some different options, and of course, uh, two different sound options. Okay, so let's jump straight into a game. So we've got new game. Let's go. Okay, so here is the hangar, and this has basically got everything about all of your ships in it. Um, so here we can see, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we got, these are the different ships that you can unlock. So as you progress through the game, you're going to be able to unlock more and more ships, which is going to allow you to have different play styles, or how you play through the game will, will depend on what ship you're playing, you know? Uh, which is actually really cool to have, because um, the game isn't going to get old fast, because it's fairly... Like, from, in my opinion, I might just be bad, but it's a fairly like difficult game to play. Um, but yeah, it's got all these different ships that you can unlock as you progress through the game. And they all have different layouts, which is this thing here. It's the layout of your ship. And I'm guessing um, that depending on how well you do with a ship, you can unlock different layouts for that one ship. So yeah, there's a lot of ships and a lot of different options. And of course, each different ship will have different weapons so this one has a little missile and a burst laser so uh, I'm gonna set this game to easy because I'm gonna be trying to talk while playing and I don't want to die okay so let's go we're gonna start um, here's some nice uh, storyline I guess I haven't really read the storyline so I don't know much about it um, and a tip so yeah that's cool okay so here's his in-game so first of all, we want to send our different crew members to different parts of the ship. So let's see, we've got Shelton here. And um, as you can see, when I mouse over his name, he's got all these different um, options, all these different like uh, um, stats and uh, traits. So depending on where you send him to the ship, he's going to level up that different uh, stat. So say we want him to be the engine man, so we want him to go in here. It's gonna, um, he's gonna level up his engine skills and the logo on the room will correspond to the logo in uh, underneath his name. Cool, it's a cool feature. All right, so we're gonna send Davian to the missile room. And what this means is that depending on what room that you've sent people to, it will give you a small bonus. Um, but for this ship, there's only three different rooms that will give you a bonus. So the, mis the missile room, engine room and the shield room oh no there's four and this room i can't remember the name for it like the driver room i guess pilot whatever let's go okay so we've got a map here and the map allows you to travel around to different game to different um locations and the objective is to get to this location here and get out of this map and survive um but as you progress further into uh into the maps uh, you're going to get a red Thing come over here which is going to be chasing you down and they are scouts go don't want to get attacked by scouts an especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you hand over one of your crew members 
members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Well, we don't want to do that, do we? Because we're, we're fighters, we don't want to... We'll never surrender to enslaver scum. Alright, so let's fight this ship. So, um... This... The combat system of this game allows you to pause it and um, come up with the best strategy, best strategy in your brain. And uh, yeah, uh, if you played games like Neverwinter Nights or um, uh, like Dragon Age Origins, um, you're able to pause combat and come up with different strategies. And it, it adds a little bit of a new element to the game. Um, it's really nice in this game because sometimes the combat is quite fast paced. So I wanna blow his I'm gonna blow his his missiles up with my missile. His weapons up. And then I'm gonna take his shields out. Okay, so let's get into the combat. So these options down here I'm gonna explain in a minute. He went straight for our shields. So now you can see that we've destroyed his weapons. So he's not gonna be able to fire his weapons now. Which is good. It's good for us. Surrender to. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, basically, what's happened now is he's given us one of his uh, crew members to take, Pippa Luck. And uh, yeah, so we've got a crew member from him now. So we can control more parts of the ship at once, which is really good. Awesome. Get out of here, Shelton. You're not supposed to be in there. You don't belong here. Cool. Let's go then. Alright, we want to go down here. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings and nearby pirates seems to have advanced hacking tools. No! Okay, I want to destroy his um, weapon room again and his shields. So, to start with, um, of course, this is on normal, so not going to be that hard. But to start uh, this on easy, sorry. Um, to start with, the game isn't going to be that hard. Um, but as you go further into the game, it's going to get a lot harder. Like it, the, the, the monsters and the different um, ships you have to fight are going to get a lot harder. Okay. So this guy gave us 13 scrap and free fuel. Now, basically, scrap is like currency in this game. But it's not only currency, it's um, what allows you to upgrade your ship as well. So you have to decide between saving your scrap up to buy new weapons at a uh, store that are placed in different parts of the map or upgrading your ship. And upgrading your ship is very important. So we've got all these different options. We've got shields, engines, oxygen, weapon control, med bay, uh, the power, um, piloting sensors and door systems right so what do I, I don't know if I want to upgrade anything just yet so I'm gonna just skip this for now but those are the different options and we'll go through it um, a little bit later let's keep going though let's go down here so um, this game is fairly laid back um, uh, I, what, I play games like um, Guild Wars 2 right now um, and so when I'm, say, queuing up for a tournament or something, it's a great game to just all tab into and just have a mess about while you wait. Um, but you can actually play it as just like uh, when you're bored, just like a, a cool game. You arrive near a damaged, dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. I don't really want to go in there. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold. Okay, scrap some of the debris. I'm gonna scrap some of the debris. Okay, so we got 19 scrap for that. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go up here. All right, so we got another ship to fight. Hire mercenary to delay the rebels. I don't want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Do I? No. Okay, fight. Fight the ship. Now, if you destroy his engine, he's not going to be able to avoid your shots because engine power, um, which is down here, gives you an evasion rate. Um, I don't know where we can see. Yeah, here we go. Evade up here. You see? 